Hey guys, DLMPB here um, with the uh, overview and unboxing of the Empire E-Flex. Alright, let's get into it. Oh, first of all, I wanted to send a shout out to um, Gremlin PB. Um, they're a bunch of great guys and they helped me out with this um, video. I actually won a contest they were having about um, like to promote their page. So I won a contest and which um, I got the E-Flex, so that's why um, this video is possible to be made today, so um, shout out to them, and I'm going to put a link in the description below to um, their Facebook page. Go ahead and like them. They're a bunch of um, good people, and they're really cool guys. You could ask them anything. They'll help you out. So, um, well, let's get into the unboxing of the E-Flex. Okay, well... Um, it's not a complete unwrapping like we had tried to do this video before but we had some technical difficulties so we weren't able to like actually reveal it um like um it would be like right out of the the shrink wrap but to prove it i do have the shrink wrap right here i tried it um we did it yesterday but but hopefully all the bugs are out so here we go let's get into it um when you open the box you notice that the mask is in a very um secure point like a very it's very secure if you move it around like you don't have to worry about like opening your packaging and then seeing that like, your lens is all scratched up and it's also nice that you, it comes with like a little protective film over the lens so um, uh, just in case if it did somehow which I don't see how but it's nice that it has that little film on it that you could well just like a like a little protective layer like you would get on like a phone screen when you barely get it so let's um, take it out um, this is an overview, so I'm just gonna give you my first impressions. Okay, first impressions, like, just holding it, like, the rubber of the, is very, it's like the same as the Proflex. It's very nice, and I noticed that the Proflex is, um, is a little bit wider profile. This, they slimmed it down quite a bit right here. Like, um, I know they made the, this flex part right here, uh, like, way small, like, a little bit smaller, so if you try to, cause I, um, with the, Pro Flex to the E Flex, you can change out bottoms, and I believe this right here, the little frame on the bottom. Um, so if you were to change it from the E Flex uh, flex part to the Pro Flex one, it would be, um, it would sit just not, it'll sit, but it would have a little bit hanging off since the profile of the Pro Flex is a little bit bigger. Um, well, first thing, well, if you ever own a Pro Flex, you know it's a nightmare to take out your lens, and Empire did a fantastic job of. Um, incorporating their quick release lens system into their goggle and well what's really cool about that is one you get quick release lenses and you get to use the the lenses that are intended for the vents and even the avatar series which are the same um so if you have any of those or you used to run vents or you had an avatar just slap those old lenses on this little baby right here and then you could just use them as it feels on a vents or an avatar it's really really nice to have that to have that option instead of um, making some totally different um, goggle size where you had to go um, find specific um, uh, lenses so that's pretty nice and also they incorporated the soft ears I know on the J2 Pro Flex it was a nightmare the soft ears would just rip off and they were made out of a very durable material so they incorporated the Empire like vents um, soft ears that um, they're really really nice they're very durable and they have this um, nice, um, they have a different mesh than they would on the vents. So, uh, like, it's a little bit different just from the, this meshing, but it's overall the same and very, very good quality. So it's not gonna, you're not gonna have to worry about what happened with the ProFlex to the E-Flex. And what I also loved about this mask, like, oh my God, I, I love it, I adore it. The, the foam on this mask, it feels like your, your face is literally on a Serta pillow, like, like they just trimmed it out and just like pasted sort of. I don't know what it is, but they did a really, really good job. And you know what's pretty cool? They even have the little Empire logo on the phone. That's pretty nice too. Um, let me see. What else do I think about this mask? I think it's really nice. You could also do the whole flip thing. I know like whenever you were in a less tense situation and you just wanted to protect your eyes with having the comfortability of talking to your teammates like um, without like any... Um, anything in your way you could go ahead and flip this up like you would on a Proflex just it's works the same so 
people who like to do that before could do it still. And like I said, you could always um, like put some of the parts from the ProFlex on the E-Flex. Let me see. Um, the quick release lens system is the same as the vents. All you do is take off these little tabs right here, which are gonna be like these little pieces right here are gonna be on both sides. Um, they're in, like I said, it's the same as that it was incorporated on the the e vents. Um, so uh, my advice to you is that these are really the small pieces. So I mean, if you're on the field for a while, you're gonna want the comfortability and like to change lenses like as the day progresses because well different light conditions are better to play with with different lenses and people have different preferences so what I suggest is go ahead um, this is what stick to drums mentioned on his video that you could just buy a little um, baggie of these like on eBay for probably like eight bucks for like a pair of five which is pretty nice like having that little extra set maybe even like in a little parts kit um, just to because I mean if you flip this up and push the little emblem out, that's going to be the thing that's holding your lens down. You don't want to risk your eyes because you only got one pair. So, um, let's get into, okay, um, you get a little strap with your events and this chin strap is actually probably the nicest chin, chin strap I've seen on a mask. Um, in my opinion, simply because it has this little cushion right here. I'm not a chin strap guy. I actually use, um, it without it and I, don't, I know that um, in the, the JT ProFlex this would come like integrated with your mask so in order to like take off your chin strap is you like like cutting off the actual chin strap and some people may consider that a modded mask like so like some like tournaments might like I don't know like give you shit for it or whatever so what's nice about that is that you actually have these little little things to take it off your mask so it's better than the pro flexes then because it was permanent like on the pro flex unless you actually cut them off and in this little baggie um what you would get that so you open it up and you just get this nice little nice little mask bag kind of reminds me of the um, the profiler mask bag it's a nice little material that's not going to scratch your lens or anything pretty nice um let me see. I've seen awful mask bags. Like I remember, like for a little while, like the V Force line came out with awful mask bags, and they changed them out for like um, some pretty nice ones. Like I was looking for my grills one, but I couldn't find it. I was looking around for it. Um, it's like kind of like a suede kind of thing, but it's pretty nice now. And it comes with this nice little, I mean, black and white manual that it, um, shows you that like different little things like earpiece installation. Um, how to um, visor installation, lens changing out, stuff like that. Um, it's a nice little black and white manual, but a lot of people don't go over the manuals. They just prefer to watch a video, which we might have. Um, I'll, I might put out a video on, let me see, on quick the quick release lens system and how to do it and all that stuff. It's pretty simple. It applies to the vents as well. So, if, yeah, I might do that. And, well... Let me see what we can get into now. Um, all I could say is that this box is really nice too. Uh, you could always use this just to keep your mask in. Like I guess, like I know I like to baby my my paintball gear. So what I would do is that, like, um, like say after I'm done, uh, out for the day, and like after I'm done cleaning my mask, I'll put it in a mask bag, put it in this, and close it. Just because the box is like pretty pretty cool and stuff, and plus it'll protect my goggles from like. And also when accidentally dropping my dropping shit off my dress shirt or something. And it comes in these different colors right here. It comes in blue, black, gray, um, white, um, olive, and red. And well that's the E-Flex for you. You could and a lot of people like the customization of it because I mean that was it that was everything about the JT. Um breathability. Oh my god, so good. But uh, just like the ProFlex, just it's really nice. So like I said about the ProFlex, um, uh, color customizability was a big issue. That's why people love them because like you could like make it your own. And I feel like with Empire's release of the E-Flex, it's gonna keep that going with uh, the blessing of having a quick release lens system and all of its goodies with the that beautiful foaming and that nice ear, the nice ear pieces and a nicer profile, smaller profile. Um, this is the E-Flex, and again, I want to send a shout out to, um, 
the Gremlin TV. So go ahead and check out their 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 like page. Uh, I'll leave a like I said. I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks again, and I'm gonna give a review later on what I overall think after I use it for a few a few weekends. So look for a video out soon. And thanks again for watching. This is the Eflex overview and unboxing. Thank you.